Hi again, so we have reached exercise 3 which is about the uh, set of integers in a binary search tree. So this was a question, an exam question, uh, final exam question. So uh, they told us that we want to construct a binary search tree. However, in this binary search tree, we don't have just integers, we have intervals. So for example, here we have minus 10, 10 and we have here a linked list of unordered integers. So we will place uh, all the integers between minus 10 and 10 in the linked list here and it's not uh, ordered ordered so this is the uh, explanation here and it's a bst it means that the intervals here and if we do an order traversal it's sorted so the upper the lower bound here is greater than the upper bound here and again on the right side the upper bound uh, on the, the uh, of the root is less than the lower bound of uh, the node on the right side so it's a, it's, a, it's a, like normal bst and you have uh, uh, some questions so we need to propose a data structure for this version of binary search tree so in, the, in this binary search tree we have nodes so the nodes here that are uh, a bit uh, different so we have the left and right however uh, in the node we have interval and we have a linked list so we know we have to define a linked list however we have an interval in interval it has a lower bound and an upper bound so i have uh, wrote here already the uh, uh, declaration so uh, we have an interval it will have uh, two integers a lower a lower bound a lower integer and an upper integer for the linked list it's normal so we have a data and a pointer to the next for the BST, so we have the both uh, two pointers, so the left and right subtrees, the list, and the interval. So, as for the questions, we need to write an iterative function that takes as a parameter a tree and a value v, and we need to search for the value in this tree, and however, we need to return the pointer uh, to this tree and uh, null if it's not in the tree. And they are telling us that any helper function should be also iterative. So. For example, if I want to search for 50, so 50 is here, I need to return the pointer to this node. Hmm? So it's a normal BST search. So uh, they are asking us to do it iteratively. So we need to uh, use a while loop. So what we will do, so it's, it's the same. So if I I want to search for, uh, for 50, for example, here, I will look uh, and see that 50 is greater than the upper bound. So it, obviously it's on the right side. And if I want to search for a number that less than 10, I will look on the left side. Otherwise, when I found that 50, for example, here is in between 20 and 130, I will look inside the linked list. So we'll start. So as long as we know that in iteratively we use a while, so while be different than null, I will check. So if I'm in between in in, uh, in the interval, so it means that value is greater or equal than b. So we have here the interval. It's called etv dot lower. So if uh, uh, the value is greater than the lower, so we are here, and smaller than the upper, and value is smaller or equal to the upper bound of the interval it means that i am okay i have I, I know i need now i need to search the list so if i'm looking for 50 i'm i will find it if i'm looking for 40 so it will be it should be here however it's not here i will return now so here i will look uh, into the list i will keep it just for a while to continue the other steps so however if i'm looking for a value that is less uh, than the uh, lower bound so it means that i should look on the left side of the uh, tree so uh, b would be equal b arrow left Otherwise, it means that I am looking for a greater value and I will go to the right. So this is it. So if I uh, uh, didn't find the element or if I reach null, it means that there is no elements. I didn't find an element. So uh, uh, or I didn't find the node that I want to search. For example, here, if I want to search for uh, minus one million, so of course I will not find a node that contains one, uh, minus one million. So I will not be... So I finished the loop and I will not test any element. So here I need to check uh, uh, to uh, check the linked list. So I need a pointer to a list. So I have already uh, declared the list as a pointer. So list temporary and I will uh, loop over the uh, list. So temporary equal b arrow uh, numbers. So numbers here is the list. So as long as this list is not null. So I will uh, check the data in this temporary list So temporary data if it's equal equal to value it means that I have found the element and I just directly to return B 
And of course, if I didn't find this in that node, I need to move to the next cell. So, and this is it for the searching and finding the node containing the value V. Let's move. So they are asking about the complexity. So you can uh, check what's the complexity of this function. So uh, uh, quickly, so we need to do, uh, so if we have n nodes in the tree, so we need to do n comparison uh, here. So in order to check what, the, what happens, and then we need to traverse one of the uh, lists. So this is the complexity of this function. So then we need to write a recursive function that takes as parameter such a tree and do an in order traversal and prints on the screen the values of uh, the nodes. So if I want to print this in, in order, it means that uh, I would uh, print the left subtree first, then the root, and then the right subtree. So uh, and we know that the in order traverse of the ST it gives us a, a sorted list. So we need to print this node, then this one, and so on. So we need to print three elements here and then three elements here and those elements so we know how to do the in order for vst so we go left node and right however when i'm reaching a, a node i need to print also the linked list so for that we will have here two functions the in order vst will do the in order it's very it's normal just three three steps we need to print the list so let's start for the in order and we should uh, write it uh, recursive and any helper function should be recursive so both these functions should be recursive so we know uh, in recursive we have if so if b is not null i would print so i will do in order on the left side i would print uh, uh, the linked list so i will call this function so however i will print a backslash n so that to have this output on the right side so we'll next at the end we'll check the the uh, the test cases so in order to have the uh, the same output and then i will uh, uh, print the list which is on the arrow which is the data of the uh, list so b uh, i will print the numbers which is the linked list and then i will do the in order on the right side so this is the in order and then i need to print the list and also it should be a recursive so we have if so as long as the list is not null i will do the following i will print the data and i will uh, move to the next cell so as easy as that and i will print list l arrow next so, and this is it for this uh, function, so as easy as that, and uh, they are telling us again, give and discuss the complexity of your above written functions. So, again, what's the complexity? So, in order, I will be visiting all the elements, and in the print list, I will visit all the uh, uh, numbers, so uh, at all, so uh, you can say that we are, uh, uh, the complexity is equal to the number of nodes, of elements, or the numbers in the uh, binary search tree. So let's move to the uh, last question. So we need to write a function that takes as parameter uh, a tree and a value v, and we need to add v in its appropriate place. So for that, they are telling us that suppose the existence of a function that for a given value v returns a lower bound and an upper bound values not non encountered in the tree. So let's take an example. Suppose I want to insert the value z uh, one. So one, I will uh, look here. So I will I will find a, an interval, a suitable interval. So I will place one in the uh, uh, linked uh, list so uh, and then uh, if i want for example to add uh, uh, minus 1 million so i need to go left 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 and here when i find minus 100 uh, 1200 so i need to go left and there is none so i need to create a new node here with a new interval so for that the new interval here is provided by uh, an external function so for that in our uh, prototype so we have the insertion, we have B value, and we will supply directly the lower bound and upper bound. So, so whenever we are adding, so either we are creating a new node or we are uh, placing an element into the list. So for that, we will have an a function that will add an element to the list. So let's start. So again, uh, they are telling us so there is no uh, uh, restriction on the type of function. So you can write it either iteratively or recursively. So what changes is just uh, switching if and while and do the call. So I will do it recursively. So we have if. So if uh, I reach uh, b equal to null, it means that I need to create uh, a point, uh, a node, and fill it uh, entirely. So uh, I will do it later. So otherwise, so I will uh, place return one. 
uh, and if so the value is in between uh, an interval so I would so I will go and copy this here from here I would place it in the linked list so if value is greater than a D reference B uh, arrow interval dot lower and value is greater so it means that I have found uh, there's already an interval so I would uh, or just add it to the list I will call this function I will add to the list the value of V so the list here is uh, the reference B arrow numbers and we need the address of this uh, linked list so Otherwise, so either I will go left or I will go, I will go right. So if value is less than its lower uh, part, so I will insert on the left side. So return. I will insert into B, arrow left. So here we have D reference B, arrow left and all address we will place the value v and we will keep the lower and upper because maybe you will use the lower and upper bound otherwise we will insert the element into the right side so we need also to write the case where we have reached the the, the last element so there is no the, we have the, the the tree is equal to null and uh, we uh, need to create a node and fill the uh, lower bound and upper bound and create a linked list and place the value in its linked list so let's start so in the reference b i would create a, a binary search tree so malloc size of struct node So we have created a node in the DST. So in the interval, uh, its lower bound dot et itv interval dot lower, it will be equal to lower, and the upper would be equal to upper. And the linked list will be equal to null first because I'll be using the function add to list so I will not create a node here and stuff in the linked list and for the left and right subtree also they would be equal to null and I will return add to list I would add uh, to the number of list the value so let's now uh, write the function so we need to add an element to the list so it, it's a non-sorted list so you can add it either you push uh, the beginning or at the end so it's up to you so i would write it recursive also so i would say that if d reference l is equal equal to null so if i reach the null pointer i would uh, create a node so d reference l would be equal to list malloc size of Struct list so and then so I'm not checking whether I can uh, uh, reserve or not uh, an element so I, I can write it here so if not L not if the reference L return zero and uh, what we'll do we will we we'll fill the data uh, equal a value and the next would be equal to null and I will return one so we have added the element this is the obvious case so if, if the element is in the list so we know that we, we, we cannot add the same element twice so I will return zero otherwise I will try to add it to the rest of the list so let me copy it here so add to list so I will add value however here it's the reference L arrow next and we need the address 
So, and I think this is it. So we have wrote these, these functions, so they are both recursive. You can write it either iteratively if you want. So for the test case, so we have a BST which is equal to null. So uh, I'm inserting all the, the elements so uh, in order. So whenever, so it's 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 not e, um, obvious to write it because you have to supply the interval in order to work as it is in the uh, tree. So for example, here we are adding V and uh, the element minus two and the interval is minus 10, uh, 10. So here we are adding zero. So there's no need to add the interval because zero, it will be in this interval and so on. So at the end, so it's like that, we are inserting and doing the in order. So if you can check with the uh, uh, tree here, so we'll end up with uh, 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 an in order traversal. So uh, first we will print this linked list and then uh, the one on the, the root and so on and uh, it will work. So let, my, let me execute. So okay, it's the same. So, and uh, this is it for this code. So I will skim it directly. So we have first write a function that returns a pointer to the node that contains a value of V. So we have uh, wrote it iteratively. So while doing that, so if I found the value is in between an interval, I will do uh, a search in the linked list. Otherwise, I will move over to the left or to the right. For printing, it was asked that we should write it uh, recursively. So we have done an in-order traversal. However, while printing the element, I need to print the list, and we have wrote a recursive uh, function to uh, print a linked list. For adding, so again, for adding, we have uh, used a recursive function. Uh, for It's the same as for BST. So whenever I reach a, a null pointer, it means that I need to create a node. So I've created a BST node and updated the lower and upper bound and the number. Uh, the, 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 the linked list of numbers is equal to null and I have used, I have wrote a function that adds a number to the uh, end of a linked list. So if the uh, element uh, I want to add is in between an interval, so I will add the element to, the, to its linked list. However, if uh, I'm looking to add an element and the, the, the interval is, uh, is uh, uh, greater than the element that I want to add, so I need to move to the left or I need to move to the right. So this is for this exercise. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to drop me a message and I will answer you back, of course. And again, thanks for watching.